what we did was we used an AI agent to actually build the visualization. And then what we're going to be demonstrating is kind of the art of the possible with agentic AI using model context protocol, UNS Studio with a unified namespace. That's what we're going to be presenting at ICC Prove It. It's time for an update for ICC Prove It 2025 take zero. All right. So I've gotten a lot of questions about what is Prove It doing at ICC, the Ignition Community Conference in 2025. So I can go ahead and tell you now, all right? So we just emailed out the introduction to the 15, 16, 17 vendors that are gonna be doing Prove It showcases at ICC this year, September 16, 17, 18, I think it is. I'll go over the dates here in a second, uh, in Sacramento. So for those of you who have never been to ICC. ICC is the Ignition Community Conference. It's put on by Inductive Automation. This is the first year coming on. I think this is the, I think 14 was the first year I went, maybe 13. Every year ICC has done, uh, Inductive Automation has done ICC at the same community college in Folsom, California, across the street from where their corporate headquarters were. And then a couple of years ago, they built a new corporate headquarters. Every year, the show was kind of limited to like 400, 500, 600 people. It was fucking packed. I mean, just people jammed in there. It was amazing. I used to say to people like, hey, if you're going to go to any show any year, ICC is the show you go to. This year is the first year that they have decided to uh, up their game significantly. Okay. And I'm going to go over kind of ICC this year, but more importantly, what's going to, what to expect to prove it. And I'm going to show you a little demo. Uh, here in a second um, to kind of explain what's the difference between Prove It that we did in February that we're going to do next February and the Prove It Showcase at uh, at ICC. All right. So this is, you guys can go to proveitconference.com forward slash ICC forward slash Prove It forward slash Showcase to see this page. It'll be linked in the description down below. Uh, we have a, um, a, a coupon code for you to get your ticket. It's ICC. So I'll show you that code in a second. It's also in the in the um, description down below. But basically, prove it. This is prove it showcase inside the exhibit hall at ICC. This year they're doing the ICC and much bigger, a thousand people, twelve hundred people, whatever, at the Sacramento Convention Center. I'm going to show you the venue here in a second. It's the Straight Safe Credit Union Performing Arts District. This is where the show is going to be this year. So obviously they're, they've upped it significantly. Inside the exhibit hall, we are going to have a, a prove it area. So the 16, 17 vendors that are doing prove it sessions are all going to be grouped together and we're going to have a prove it booth. And in the prove it booth, we're going to have the virtual factory up and running. Uh, we're also going to have our own demos that we're showing you. We're going to kind of be giving you the lay of the land of all the vendors and like what you can see. There's also going to be a stage where all the vendors will be presenting, doing Prove It sessions, just like at Prove It uh, in February and just like Prove It next year in February. What is the difference between Prove It Conference and Prove It ICC? Very simple. Number one, it's a lot fewer vendors. It's a much smaller controlled group because we want to get everybody on stage. Number two, it's a smaller virtual factory. It's the same virtual factory as we that we used at Prove It last year. Next year, we're doing we're adding on. We're adding in life sciences and multi-site virtual factory, which is all being built right now. We're going to be using the same virtual factory as we did at the Prove It conference. However, the presentations are going to be different because they're only given eight weeks to build their demo. So these are eight week proof of concepts. All right. So this is really. This is going to be a perfect place for manufacturers to go to ICC and see an eight-week proof of concept. What can you do for me in eight weeks? What problem did you solve? How did you solve it? How long did it take? How much did it cost? Okay. Here's the other thing. They've got to use Ignition. So if I'm vendor, let's say I'm um, PTC, I'm Kepware, and I'm doing a, Kepware's I, I don't think is one of the vendors, but let's say it's Kepware, and Kepware wanted to do a prove it session. We have rules. Okay. They, they got to use Capware plus Ignition. So if you're Flow Software, you got to use Flow is one of the vendors. You got to use Flow plus Ignition. Your Opto 22 is one of the vendors. You got to use Opto 22 plus Ignition. Okay. So that, that's one way that's different is that all the vendors must use Ignition in their prove it session. Number two, it's an eight week proof of concept. All right. Um, number three, 
the data is cleaner. At, at, our, at our show, at the Prove It conference, the big Prove It conference, we actually put in data hurdles. So we put in, we try to make it as real world as humanly possible, where we put in garbage data. Why? Because when you're integrating with a customer, not all the data is going to be reliable. Okay. So we put in garbage data. We're not doing that here because they only have eight weeks. Okay. All of them have been given the intros and all of the vendors are starting on Tuesday. They get the virtual factory released to them and then their eight week clock starts. ICC is eight weeks from this Tuesday coming up. All right. And, and I, for those of you who use Ignition, for those of you who have never been to ICC <laughs> and want to go to ICC, for those of you who couldn't make it to prove it in February and you're, you're going to go to uh, prove it next year, you're going to go to our conference in Dallas next year, but you want to get a little taste of what it's like, ICC is the show for you. I will be there manning our booth uh, and our whole team. We'll have a big touch screen. We'll, we're going to have a bunch of demos kind of showing you the art of the possible around virtual factory and bleeding edge technology, all right? So you can go to icc.inductiveautomation.com to get more information, okay? You can go to the ICC Prove It Showcase page at proveitconference.com, ICC Prove It Showcase. And if you wanna see the venue, you can go there, all right? So if you want to, you can get a discount on your ticket by using ICC Prove It 25 at checkout when you buy your ticket. All, this, this code will also be down in the description. So this has already been sent out to the Mastermind members, but now we're opening it up to the entire community now that the Mastermind um, students have had their chance. So this is uh, I, Ignition Community Conference 2025 Level Up and our fancy logo. So what, what are the key details? September 16, 17, and 18 of 2025 at the Safe Credit Union Convention and Performing Arts District in Sacramento. The Ignition Community Conference is going big. I want to go over the virtual factory, and then I'm going to show you a quick demo to kind of show you what you, could be, you can kind of expect. All right, so our virtual factory is a flexible packager, okay? Our flexible packager has environmental management. It's got a press area. It's got a lamination area. It's got a slitting area. Basically, they make flexible packaging and food and beverage, okay? They print. They laminate they slit, and sometimes they make bags, okay? They have an art department that makes the plates for the printing. They have an ink department that mixes all the ink. And then they have an environmental management group that takes the noxious gases that come off of the presses and uh, runs them through a regenerative thermal oxidizer, which then cleanses that and releases it as uh, water vapor and carbon dioxide. All right, the workflow of our virtual factory, okay? This is the overhead view. The art department and the ink department work together to create the plates and the ink for the press, okay? So the, you have three, four presses. The presses take raw, raw flexible material in. They print on it at least once or twice. They rent two, print two or four wide. And they have rig rolls with 10,000 linear feet of rolls coming off the production line. And it goes into work in progress. From work in progress, it goes to the lamination area. So now what they do is they take that four wide, two wide printed material and they laminate the film. Then from there, it goes back into work in progress, and then it goes into the slitter area where it is slit. If it's too wide, it's slit into two. One, one roll can, becomes two rolls, or one roll becomes four rolls. And then they ship it off to the customer. Or in some cases, they take the rolls, they go to the bag area, and they actually cut the individual bags. What these guys are manufacturing are the bags that, uh, say, like Doritos comes in. Okay, This is the manufacturing process workflow. So raw film goes into the press area. Art department and ink prep go into press area. Environmental management handles emissions. We go to whip. We go to lamination. We go to whip. We go to slitter. And then depending upon the customer type, we either ship or we go back into whip and then into the bag area and then we ship. Okay? And then this is basically what the vendors are going to be doing. So the vendors have access to the factory unified namespace, the MQTT broker based on HiveMQ, an OPC server, which is a exact copy of the unified namespace, and then a database. They have database access. They're giving extensive documentation on the data, okay? And then the exhibitor is going to use Ignition and a vendor product to ask the question, what is the problem? How did they solve it? How long will it take? How much will it cost? Okay? The, the vendor is coming up with the use case that they're solving, okay? And then I, I included some documentation um, on the virtual factory that goes to the actual vendors. But the big thing is the requirements, they're going to be held to these requirements. They must integrate to and from the virtual factory unified namespace. Any new or created data and information must be published back to the unified namespace. 
They have to use their own solution or service, but they may leverage third-party tools they don't are, offer as part of their solution, and they must use Ignition. They must use Ignition as part of the solution. They have to connect to the infrastructure at the conference, and they must have fun. Okay? That literally, I'm doing this video because I just sent them out their, you know, their instructions on Tuesday. Um, all right. Here, here's the rough architecture. We have cloud-based architecture with clustered HiveMQ in the cloud, and then we have the OPC server running. We have Ignition running that's actually doing some like uh, some logic for us. And then we have MySQL running in the cloud that contains the master data model and all the ERP stuff. And then in at Prove It on the plant floor, there's actually a rack that has another set of clustered HiveMQ brokers. These are also fallback. So no matter whether I hit this endpoint here, whether I connect to the broker via the load balancer or whether I connect directly to the local brokers, I'm connected to any message that's sent to any of the four brokers. Okay. And all of the Docker infrastructure, there's many, many Docker containers running. All of the infrastructure is being managed by, by Portainer. And then this is an example of what the unified namespace looks like. Okay. Um, let me go ahead and move my camera back over and make it a hair bigger. Um, so you got Enterprise Dallas, and then you you'll see we have various vendors already publishing into the UNS. So Opto 22, MaintainX, Bosch. Um, machine metrics. This is all from last year's. These guys are still connected, by the way. So th this was a, I took a screenshot of this UNS of our virtual factory from Prove It in February today. They're, they're actually, all these vendors are still using the virtual factory for presentations and stuff, and they're all still publishing in here. Um, but what I'm going to show you today is a demo of uh, Press 103. So let me go, let me make sure I've got everything here. And then kind of let me show you what this looks like. So we'll go to, we'll go here. So we're looking at UNS Studio here. UNS Studio is showing, I, I am subscribed to the, the, the uh, Prove It broker. Okay. And what I've done is I've filtered my subscription on Press 103. So I can just kind of walk through the UNS. So what the vendors have is access to all of the the unified namespace. I'm subscribing just to a single press to keep it cleaner and to show you my, my example. We've also got a simulator running. So if I go and look at this float, you know, we're basically just plotting, you know, temperature and, and uh, these values over time. And then um, UNS server, obviously, or UNS studio, which I'll, I'll show you guys a little bit more. Our demo will be using UNS studio, but um, we'll show uh, the MCP functionality, which I'm going to do right now. All right. So what I did was I gave our agent, which is connected. So we have UNS studio which is connected to our infrastructure is using Ignition for a lot of the business logic, okay? So I'm, I, I'm using Ignition in this solution, all right? I'm also using HiveMQ in this solution. I'm using Portainer in this solution. I'm using MySQL in this solution. And then I have a custom-built OPC server. I am using uh, HiBite and UNS Studio. All right, so what we have is UNS Studio is connected to our unified namespace uh, at our, our prove it broker. And it's actually connected to the rack, not to the cloud. So I'm, I'm actually on the local, the local rack. We have an MCP server running in here that allows us to, uh, I can basically interact with an agent. Okay. And so what I do is I have Claude running. And what I did was uh, Claude is connected to the UNS studio MCP server. And I basically said, Hey, I want you to review the topics and press 103. And I want you to build me an HMI dashboard for my operator, include a tree component on the left-hand side of the dashboard that allows me to browse the topics for Press 103. And what our agent built was this. So what we have here is, let me go ahead and, you know, we got dashboard, production line, and MQTT. This is the edge. So this is all the live uh, production, machine running, all that kind of stuff. We have our production line, which is including all our OE data. And we got our dashboard, which has got all of our key performance indicators. Okay, and I can go here and, you know, look at the, I can view the, you know, I can select any topic and see the value down here. I have, I can start my machine. I can stop my machine, etc. What we did was we used an AI agent to actually build the visualization. And then what we're doing, what, what I'm doing is taking the code from the visualiz visualization that was built, and I'm basically mapping, I'm asking the agent to then map these individual topic points to individual objects on the screen. So what we're going to be demonstrating is kind of uh, sort of maybe the art of the possible with Agentic AI using model context protocol with a unified namespace. That's what we're going to be presenting at ICC Prove It. It'll be one example. I think we're going to be doing 
like four demos or something. Um, four demos there. In fact, let me go over, go over here and go back to full screen. All right. So with that, that is a that's a sneak peek into ICC Prove It this year. All right. So if you guys are interested, if you're interested in going to ICC, might as well use our code. Okay. ICC Prove It twenty five. It'll be linked in the description down below. We'll be doing presentations. We'll have 15 to 17 vendors. I think it's 17 vendors that are going to be doing presentations. They're all starting their demos on Tuesday. They'll start building those demos. All of them are going to be using Ignition. All of them will be using our virtual factory. And our entire team will be there at our own booth to MC all the um, events. Hope to see you there. Like, subscribe, comment down below. See you in the next one.